Okay, well I found a new uh, use for this crystal cell <laughs> that uh, we're working on. It's thermally activated, I've decided. You can either get it wet and make it a pure galvanic, which I don't think is a good idea, or you can use heat. And heat works just great. You just uh, add some heat to that crystalline cell and it uh, puts out power. And uh, I don't know what to say, but it works pretty darn good. I just put my coffee cup on it in the morning. If it stops, and off it goes again. So I'm sitting here at my computer, and you know, I'm looking at pictures or whatever. And uh, I got a little uh, coaster for my coffee so I don't burn my table. And it runs a motor. How cool is that? But uh, I'm getting ready to build the big one here, the bigger one. And this is the uh, hydrate cell that is in a... Uh, plastic project box. You get them at Radio Shack. And you put the copper in there with the crystalline uh, mixture. You have to cook cook the copper till it's black and then you got to cook the chemicals right. And then you just put a piece of paper towel on top of that, pour in more mixture, and then add the magnesium uh, fire starter block. And that all goes in that box. And then you just close it up like that. And it's just a sealed unit. And I'll figure out some way to get the electrodes out of it, but uh, that is, uh, that is, I believe, how John and Chuck are making their um, cells, or with these little project boxes. So anyway, that's that's the latest, but I thought that was really cool to be able to get this thing to activate with a hot cup of coffee. By the way, this is rock hard now, and I'm not putting any water on it. I wanted to see what would happen when it was totally dry, and it's just dry like... Uh, I don't know. It's not like a rock. It's more like hard cardboard is what it feels kind of like. But it did dry out completely. But it sure likes heat. And really, really um, works good with heat. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with people. That uh, my take on this particular cell, in fact, most of them, is they're heat activated. And John said it was in the... Uh, um, infrared at the far infrared heat level but any source of heat makes this thing work works real good you can't get it too hot or you end up melting the crystals but the temperature of a hot cup of coffee it really likes that and I thought boy that would be a good application of this uh, technology is you make just uh, coasters coffee coasters for you know, when I used to go to work in the morning, I always had a hot cup of coffee when I was getting my, my stuff ready for the day. Uh, boy, wouldn't have that been fun to have one of those things with a little picture of my girlfriend or wife or whatever flying back and forth there and saying, hi, good morning. <laughs> anyway, just something fun I discovered this morning when I was having a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching.